In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to replace the wheels on one of these pull-behind dump carts, appliance carts, or any other cart like this. This old cart's definitely seen some better days. During a storm, a big tree branch fell on it, busted it up here, busted it up here, and flattened the tire here. To remove this, it's really simple. All you have to do is just straighten out this cotter pin here that's going through the bar that's holding the wheel on. Basically, just straighten that out, and then you should be able to grab it in the back here. Once the two fronts are straightened out, you just kind of give it a little shake and a pull, and that cotter pin comes right off. After that, your wheel simply slides off. Now that we have the old wheel and hardware removed, we can set that aside and get our new one. Uh, we're just gonna open up the new ones here. We don't need to reuse the hardware because it comes with uh, two axle caps here that we're gonna use for the end. So this basically just goes right back on the same way that it came off. This deeper part here is gonna go on the inside. Uh, before you put it on, if you have any uh, crap or stuff on here, it might be a good time to clean this up, make sure it's uh, off if you need a brush, do that. This is gonna simply slide on, and it looks like there's a piece still on here, so you're gonna wanna make sure any pieces that might have been left in are gone. This is relatively clean. It might not be a bad idea to clean it up a little bit better, put a little grease on there, but for now, I'm just gonna slide this back on. This wheel kit came with an axle cap, but it didn't come with a washer. You may not necessarily need it, but I'm gonna use the old washer on here. So I'm gonna slide the washer on there. And then when I put the axle cap on, you can see how it has two different sides. I'm gonna put this side that bevels out on the outside and the part that goes in is gonna be on the inside. So you're just gonna slide that over here. And what you do is you take a socket on the end of it one that fits in through here so that you can hammer it in and that it kind of clamps it on. So we're gonna put that in here, slide it over, and then we're gonna take our socket over top of it with a hammer. And we're just gonna tap it on to get it to hold it in place. Once it's on it's held in place, you would normally reuse your old cotter pin, but since this cotter pin snapped off, I'm gonna have to get a new one. It's never a bad idea to have uh, some assorted cotter pins on hand. So I'm just gonna grab a cotter pin so we can slide it in here. Slide it through the hole. Bend it back and we're good to go. Sometimes the axle caps they provide you don't actually dig into the axle to the point that you can actually hammer it on and they stay a little bit loose, almost like a washer. If that's the case with yours, it's probably okay. It'll probably do the job, but you could always just get a smaller axle cap and replace it later. For this next one, we're just going to repeat the process. Ooh. And that's how easy it is to replace the wheels on a pull behind cart like this. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did help you out, please like this video, share it with others to help them out, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again.